CUBN. This is Christians United Broadcasting Network. I'll be your host, Troy. This is CUBN News. You can get in contact with us at www.cubnlive.com. All right, what we've got on the news today is Mr. Mike Pence. I'm pro-life. I don't apologize for it, he said. Indianapolis, Indiana, August 17, 2016, Life Site News, Donald Trump's running mate kept the Republican tickets pro-life theme going this past weekend, declaring on Sunday news program that he is pro-life and does not apologize for it. Indiana Governor and GOP Vice President Candidate Mike Pence was asked on Fox News Sunday why his state would have the authority to limit the reasons a child could be aborted. A reference to the Indiana law that Pence signed earlier this year banning abortion for genetic abnormalities, race or sex. Hey, meant that. that. Wow. I'm pro-life. Oh, well, I'm pro-life, Pence told Chris Wallace in response. I don't apologize for it. I'd like to see Roe vs. Wade overturned and consigned to the ash heap of history, he said. Pence explained how Indiana's position has was justified and not unique, stating that abortion for the reason of race or sex are morally offensive, and we stand by that. But we also cherish those who have disabilities in the state of Indiana, the GOP governor said, and taking a step in the direction of protecting the unborn who are facing physical challenges and disabilities, I think was the right thing to do. It meant that that. Pence has promised throughout the campaign that in a Trump-Pence administration, Roe vs. Wade would be delivered to the ash heap of history where it belongs. Amen to that. He has said repeatedly that he is pro-life and doesn't apologize for that. Also, praising pregnancy help centers early his month in on Fox News O'Reilly Factor. Trump's choice of running mate in Pence, who has a 100% pro-life record with a national right to the life committee and 0% scores with Planned Parenthood and NORAL was N-R-A-L was confirmed as a pro-life win when pro-aborts immediately jumped to disparage his record on life as Indiana governor. With Pence res represent representing a threat to abortion a cash cow for the abortion industry and a sacred cow for the left, the claws came out and the attacks tried to paint him as a dangerous misogynist, misogynist who would drag the country back to the stone age. What? Just for not boarding a child? What the heck are these people talking about? I'm gonna step back and look at your lives. You don't want to take a baby's life. You don't want to, you want to do that. I don't understand. There's people. They just Planned Parenthood for the stop to distributing anti-Trump condoms. What? At the Republican National Convention, RNC last month, a pro-abort protester screaming that Pence was waging a war on women <laughs> at the RNC was removed from the event on its first night <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and alleged comments by Pence on rape victims used by pro aborts to smear the Republican candidate were later found to be false. Amen to that people, come on now. Asked again on Sunday by Wallace whether he still believed abortion should be prohibited for the reason in the Indiana law, Pence replied, I believe in the sanctity of life. And I stand for that principle. Come on, people. Why you got to keep asking about me that question? And I'm grateful to be standing with Donald Trump in his strong commitment to the right to life. It's the media, you know. They try to keep pushing the issue that abortion is a good, precious thing to do. 
They are saying you need to kill your child in your belly so you don't mess your life up. Come on, people. That is not your life to kill. That is God's life. Whatever happens in your belly is what God is doing. If you got raped, it's understandable that you feel pressured and in pain of the idiot that did that to you. But you have to put that idiot aside. And you do nothing with that guy. You do whatever authority or get whatever lawyer and you fight him. You make him pay for that child. You get that child and then you just raise that child as much as you can. And you show that idiot that he got to pay you that money to take care of that child. Put him to work. That's how you get them rapists back. You put them to work. Because when you get that child, they have to work their butts off to pay for that baby. And that is what gets them back. Amen to that. In Jesus' name. My parents are pro-life. And I don't apologize for it. Amen to that. In Jesus' name.